Welcome back, everyone. I am joined with Commissioner Sean Tindall with the Mississippi Department of Public Safety. Thanks so much for making the trip up here and talking with us. Yeah, glad to be here. What is going on with the Department of Public Safety? It seems like uh, there might be a shortage of some troopers, but I noticed that you know y'all are already hiring for Cadet Class 68. Yeah, so we're we're trying to increase our numbers in law enforcement, like like many of your local jurisdictions. Um, and we're trying to get our troopers up to over 600 total troopers. And, th and that's where we were in the early 2000. And in order to reach that goal, we've had to have consecutive trooper classes. We've had uh, six in a row. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're hoping to have uh, annual trooper schools to get us over that 600 number. Mm -hmm. And what are y'all looking for in a state trooper? Well, we're wanting folks that are, that are disciplined, uh, that are dedicated towards public service. And, and we're wanting to get the best and brightest that we can find that, that can take part in what, what I believe is uh, one of the most storied law enforcement agencies in the country. It was founded in 1938, and, and there's wow. a lot of pride with it. Yeah. Um, and, and when you become a state law enforcement officer like a state trooper, you have to be willing to answer the call. It uh, doesn't matter where you live. You might be called to Tupelo, you might be called to Gulfport, you might be called to Jackson, and, and you've always got to be willing to mobilize and, and answer the call for your state. Mm -hmm. Are these shortages um, causing any issues with the local, I mean, like Troop F, Troop G in our area, like how is that impacting these um, departments? You know, I, I was in Troop G yesterday morning and in, in, on the morning shift we had four troopers covering nine counties. Wow. And, and so if there's a wreck or an accident and some loved ones on the, you know, stuck out there, we, we need to be able to have enough troopers out there that they can respond quickly. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's really why it's so important that we get to that 600 number. and. Um, and we're going to get there. Yeah. It's just taking a little bit of time. And, and, you know, this is the first time since the Fordyce administration that we've had uh, four consecutive classes in a governor's administration. And, and I can tell you Governor Reeves is committed uh, to growing the highway patrol and growing our state law enforcement presence so that we can make our community safer. And for someone who may be watching or listening that is considering a career in law enforcement or career, just considering making that change in their career, what would you say to them about making that switch or about this department? Well, I'd say number one is a great opportunity. Um, and, you know, sometimes in our lives we have choices to, to go and make more money or do what we love. And this is an opportunity to join a profession where you'll do what you love. Uh, but with that, the starting salary for troopers is uh, 50000 uh, they can make upwards to 60000 and so if you're a 21, 22, 23 year old and you're looking for a career path and, and something that's going to be very rewarding for you and actually pay a pretty good salary, uh, joining the Mississippi Highway Patrol is a great place to start. We also have the Bureau of Narcotics, uh, we have the Mississippi Bureau of Investigations, Mississippi Office of Homeland Security, Capitol Police, and Commercial Transportation Enforcement Division. So there's a lot of opportunities at the Department of Public Safety. It sounds like it. Well, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Well, thank you for having me. We'll have much more coming up.